conduct in the city council chambers, rules of decorum for the public. Members of the audience shall not engage in disorderly or boisterous conduct, including the utterance of loud, threatening, or abusive language, clapping, whistling, stamping of feet, or other, other acts which disturb, disrupt, impede, or otherwise render the orderly conduct of the city meeting infeasible. A member of the audience engaging in any such conduct shall, at the discretion of the presiding officer or a majority of the city council, be subject to ejection from the meeting per government code section 54954.3c. Removal from the council chambers. Any person who commits the following acts in respect to a meeting of the city shall be removed from the council chambers per government code section 54954.3c. A, disorderly, contemptuous, or insolent behavior towards the city council or any member thereof tending to interrupt the due and orderly course of said meeting. A breach of peace, boisterous conduct, or violent disturbance tending to interrupt the due and orderly course of said meeting. Disobedience of any lawful order from the mayor, which shall include an order to be seated or to refrain from addressing the city council and any other unlawful interference with the due and orderly course of said meeting. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to the Taft City Council Successor Agency Joint Regularly Scheduled Meeting for Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. City of Taft Council meetings are being held in person with full capacity seating and are live streamed at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash City of Taft. Public comments may be made in person and can also be received per the following. Written comments may be dropped off in the drop box in front of City Hall. Comments may be emailed to the City Clerk at cityclerk at cityoftaft.org. They may also be made by phone to the city clerk's office at 661-763-1222. Public comments will be accepted up until 5 p.m. the day of the meeting. Any comments received will be read into the record. We're going to begin this evening's meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Councilman Josh Bryant, followed by an invocation by Greg Mudge. If you would join us, please. <coughs> Please place your hand over your heart and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Would you join me in prayer, please? Father in heaven, thank you for this opportunity that we have to come together and make decisions that impact this community. We're so thankful for your watchful and protective hand that have guarded and kept us safe in spite of all the fires that surround us. We pray, Father, that you'll continue to watch over us and protect us. Be with these members tonight as they make decisions to ensure the safety of all of us here in this community. Father, we pray for our, especially for our country right now and the struggle and difficult time that we have. And we just pray that your wisdom will impact those that lead us and help us to find a united way to remember that we're all Americans and that we have a cause that includes glorifying you. We thank you for your son Jesus and what he means in all of our lives. We pray that your spirit will guide us and direct us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Very <coughs> <much>. <coughs> All right, Madam Clerk, may we have a roll call, please? Yes, Mayor Nor. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Cryer. Here. Council Member Bryant. Here. Council Member Waldrop. Here. And Council Member Chavera. Here. All right. First item on this evening's agenda is public hearing to adopt resolutions authorizing Kern County Tax Collector to collect refuse and street sweeping charges and standby charges for vacant commercial buildings. City Manager Joan. Thank you, Mayor. Section 5473 ETSEC of the Health and Safety Code authorizes the collection of refuse fees by the county collector, county tax collector, upon adoption of an appropriate resolution by the City Council. Thank you very much, sir. 
Recommended action is to conduct a public hearing regarding this issue. I will therefore open said public hearing. Anybody wishing to speak on behalf of or in opposition to this, please step forward. Seeing none, I will close this public hearing. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to adopt a resolution entitled Resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft, providing for collection of refuse and street sweeping charges by the county tax collector pursuant to section 5473 at sec of the Health and Safety Code. I will also entertain a motion to adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft providing for collection of standby refuse and street sweeping charges by the county tax collector pursuant to section 5473 at sec of the Health and Safety Code. Lastly, I will find that the activity is not a project for the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, set forth in section 15060C3 and section 15378 of the CEQA guidelines. So moved. Second. That is for both motions. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. yes. So I have a motion for both motions and a second for both motions. <clears throat> All right, sir, you made the motion. And, uh, any discussion regarding this? None here, sir. Gentlemen? No comment. Okay. No comment. Madam Clerk, I have a motion and a second. May we have a roll call, please? Mayor Pro Tem Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Waldrop? Yes. Council Member Chavera? Yes. And Mayor Knorr? Yes. Now it passes on a 5 0 vote. Thank you all very much. Next item on the agenda, item number two. Agenda matter is public hearing adopt resolutions authorizing Kern County Tax Collector to collect sewer charges and standby sewer charges for vacant commercial buildings. City Manager Jones. Thank you, Mayor. Again, uh, Section 5473 ETSEC of the Health and Safety Code authorizes the collection of sewer fees by the county tax collector upon adoption of an appropriate resolution by the City Council. Thank you very much, sir. The recommended, the recommended action here is conduct a public hearing. Therefore, I will open said public hearing. Anybody wishing to speak on behalf or in opposition to this matter, please step forward. Seeing nobody, I'll close the public hearing. At this time, I would entertain a motion to adopt a resolution entitled, A Resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft, providing for collection of sewer charges by the county tax collector pursuant to Section 5473 at sec of the Health and Safety Code. Also, a motion to adopt a resolution entitled, a Resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft providing for collection of standby sewer charges for the tax, county tax collector pursuant to Section 5473 at sec of the Health and Safety Code. Lastly, find that the activity is not a project for the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, as set forth in Section 15060C3 and Section 15378 of the CEQA guideline. So moved. Second. Again, no both, comments, sir. Both motions, too, sir. So I have a motion for both motions and a second for both motions. Is that correct, Mayor Pro Tem? Yes, correct. All right. Any discussion regarding these gentlemen? None here. No discussion. Very good, then. Madam Clerk, I have a motion and a second. May we have a roll call, please? Mayor Pro Tem Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Waldrop? Yes. Council Member Chavera? Yes. And Mayor Knorr? Yes. And that passed on a 5 0 vote. Thank you. Next up, item number three, public hearing, landscape and lighting maintenance district number one. City Manager Jones. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is a required action yearly for a public hearing uh, to adopt the lighting landscape district, the engineer's report. Um, as noted, uh, it's been confused in the past that this has something to do with the actual fees. So without a protest hearing, we can only continue to collect the $86. So this action would be to continue that if the city chose to move forward with a prop uh, 218 hearing process to increase it, it should be more like $200 a year. So, yes, sir. This is a housekeeping item. Yearly is required. It has nothing to do with us agreeing that $86 is all we should be. But. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. We know that the costs continue to rise, including and specifically uh, the electricity costs related to the lighting there, 23.8% uh, last year, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. So, thank you very much, sir. Recommend action here is conduct a public hearing, which I will open. Anybody wishing to speak uh, on behalf of or in opposition to, step forward. There is nobody. 
At this time, I'd entertain a motion to approve a resolution entitled Resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft setting the assessment for landscape and lighting maintenance district number one and find that the activity is not a project per the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, as set forth in section 15060C3 and section 15378 of the CEQA guideline. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion on these items? I think the city manager, Mr. Mayor, said it clearly, and you did as well. Our, our current costs in this landscape and lighting district are roughly $112 to $120 per parcel. And that was voted down when we went back out to Prop 218 vote like four years ago or so. And it's a shame that we continue to have to go into a deficit to spend the, the entire city, the taxpayers' money, uh, on a small subset of folks. And I'll, full transparency, I live in that area and I voted in favor of this. All right, thank you very much, sir. Any other comments? None here. Well said, Josh. All right, thank you. Uh, I will add to that. You're absolutely right. And it's nice to see that well used. Uh, but things require maintenance. Maintenance costs are up. Water costs are up. Electricity costs are up. And yet, it is unfortunate that when it was brought before those who uh, are a part of that, it was voted down. And actually, as I recall, the participation rate was dismal in spite of the fact that we live in a very small community. So it is a shame, but it is a reality. Madam Clerk, I have a motion and a second. May we have a roll call, please? Mayor Pro Tem Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Waldrop? Yes. Council Member Chavera? Yes. And Mayor Knorr? Yes. Now pass on a 5 0 vote. Thank you, gentlemen. Item number four is citizens request public comments. You have none. I have none, so I don't have to read that paragraph? Correct. Well, heaven's <laughs> sakes. All right then. Item number five Council statements, non action. Councilman Chavera, I'll begin with you this evening, sir. Um, I don't think I have much. I, I would say, uh, again, the fires be vigilant. There is, there is a lot of fires going on in our area. And, uh, I, I would urge us all to, um, you know, those ranchers have been suffering lately. So, uh, if you guys see anything going on, any type of, uh, illegal activity by anybody, um, however, I did notice that, uh, and I'm not saying, on record, I'm not saying that it's it's the homeless, uh, but unfortunately on one incident I did see some homeless um, playing around some fire under the bridge. <coughs> uh, but the fact is, is we need to remain vigilant. And if we see any illegal activity going on with any of these fires, we need to speak up and, and, and notify our law enforcement so they can uh, address the situation. That's Thank it, sir. You. Thank you very much, sir. Councilman Waldrop. I got a little short one here. I just like to remind everybody that uh, November we have a very serious situation going on. And if you haven't registered to vote, please vote and get out and vote. Thank you. All right. Good advice. Thank you very much, sir. Councilman Bryant. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. When you think about it, to piggyback on what uh, Councilman Waldrop mentioned, I think roughly probably 50 to 60 percent of the population is eligible to vote in this state, right? age-wise and citizenship-wise. Of those 60%, right, we have, what, 20% on the average, 30% of those folks come out and actually vote. And those folks determine everything we're seeing play out, uh, at least by way of their representation. If you're not happy with that, folks, because that's a small number. That's 20% of 60%. It's not a big number, folks. If you're not happy with it, get out and vote. Let your voice be heard. If you are happy with it, keep voting for it. That's why we have it, but at least engage. And uh, I think there's a lot you can say about what's happening recently. Well, I'll just end with saying this. God help, God bless, and God guide the United States of America and our citizens. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. Mayor Pro Tem Cryer. Thank you, Mayor. I'd just like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for the Fourth of July fireworks and the people who contributed Amen. and donated and uh, it, it went off good, kept our tradition going, and uh, the finale was fantastic. I enjoyed that finale of the fireworks. Yeah. A little slow in the beginning, but at the end it made it, made it up. And, but uh, it, it, was, it was good. Um, we have a new store opening up here this weekend. We're having a, uh, we're having a grand opening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and they're giving out prizes, and prizes uh, each day. Uh, the first 400 people that are arrived. And I believe there's going to be a radio station to be out there or giving out some prizes, too. And uh, I'd like for everybody should go out there and give them a good Taft welcome. And I think the, 
uh, it's another store that uh, it could be used, needed, and the tax basis would be excellent too for us. And another thing to uh, tag along, got election coming up, and uh, study those propositions that come out there. Because some of them, they twist it, make it like it's going to be a, 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 a trying to find the right word to use here, but it, 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 it's going to be too good to be true. And read it real close for your vote, because if you vote for it, it's not what you think it is. Well, it's hard to get rid of it. We're going to have it forever, like Prop 1. What we're having right now, we're having to deal with and all the stuff with the prisons and stuff being loose. People vote for it because, like they always put in there, it's for the children. When I see those three words, I uh, I vote the opposite way because it's not for the children. That's what I have to say, Mayor. All right, thank you very much. They actually spend a great deal of time coming up with the title of these things and steering you which way they want and hoping that you don't do the research and don't read and the implications thereof. Like you say, it was Prop 47, I believe that they called it the safe routes to school. And what we did was we kept a bunch of dirt bags on the streets, bad guys that belonged in prison, had nothing to do with safety for the children. And they even had a picture, I recall, it was a picture of a, I don't know, six or eight year old little blonde schoolgirl in a dress. It was the most misleading, disgusting demonstration, but it's coming out of Sacramento, so it's, it's not surprising. But it all boils down to, do a little bit of research. Do a little bit of research. Read up on it. Try to figure it out. It's your money. It is your money. This is your government. Participate. You heard both council members talk about that. Uh, be a part of it. Be a part of the decision-making process and be informed. They are counting on you not being informed. Do not fall into that trap. Uh, lately, there's been some ridiculous goings-on regarding politics and you all know what we're talking about and so I too won't get into that but uh, we will change this country one vote at a time and that's because we are a civilized law-abiding group of people that's the way it's supposed to be let's keep it that way that's all I have this evening as well <clears throat> all right next up planning commission report item number six we have planning commissioner here just dying to talk to us that sound like a broken record. Um, our previous uh, meeting uh, was held a little later in the month in June, so this is the June report. Uh, we reviewed the first review copy of the housing element in school, um, just prior to the opening up the public comment at the time. You see the public comment right now, but it's still. And I uh, expected in August we'll be looking at whatever changes that we might, might have been recommending by the public, as well as anything that we still have seen involved in the house. It's not that big. Mm. Um, in fact, the requirement to be part of the general plan, I think the general plan is about this big. The rest of the general plan is housing. Uh, it's, uh, it's certainly going to be a significant thing. Uh, well thought out research document. Yeah. Is that on? Sorry. <laughs> I have a hard time even when it is on. <laughs> Anyways, um, there were there will be no planning commission meeting this or there wasn't it would have been <coughs> coming up tomorrow. Um, so our next regularly scheduled meeting is going to be the first Wednesday after the first Tuesday wishing in August. So that's everything. If anybody's got any questions, I'd be glad to answer them, but we still got a long ways to go on this doc. It is quite a process, but absolutely necessary, and it is painstaking. So thanks for keeping us updated on it. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, item number seven, department reports. I think we have some department reports. You Chief is Chief's going to come up and talk to us. The <coughs> city clerk wants to talk to us as well. <coughs> I'm going to be giving the statistics for the month of June. Good afternoon, Councilman, Mayor, City Manager, City afternoon, Attorney, sir. Madam Clerk, and guest. <laughs> I see you over there. Um, we're going to go start with the, the month of June, and it's going to be our total incidents were 837. <clears throat> Excuse me. Calls for service were 407. Officer-initiated incidents were 430. 
We had a total officer case reports of 144. We had total of misdemeanor and felony arrest of 56. We had felony arrest of 18, and of course the misdemeanors are at 38. All right. Consistent. Your troops consistently have more officer-initiated stops than calls for service. I'm very proud of that fact. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. It shows that we're that the team is out there working. Making a difference. Absolutely. All right. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank Appreciate you guys. it. Madam Clerk, I do believe that you have the mic. Yes, sir. I'd just like to share that the nomination period for the uh, November 5th general election is now open. It opened on the 15th and will run through August 9th. We have two council member positions and the city treasurer position that are coming up on that ballot. That nomination period will extend from August 9th to the 14th if an incumbent does not, in fact, pull to file. So. All right. Thank you very much. There it is, everybody. Be a part of it. Thanks for that report. <clears throat> Any other department reports this evening? None? Okay, we'll get on to city manager statement. City manager Jones. Thank you, Mayor. Nothing additional this night. All right. Thank you very much, sir. City attorney statements. Jason? Thank you, Mr. S Mr. Mayor. No statement. All right. Thank you, sir. Item number 10 is future agenda requests. Any this evening, gentlemen? Not here. Seeing none, we'll get right into consent calendar items 11 through 14. All items listed on the consent calendar shall be considered routine and will be enacted by one roll call vote. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the city council requests specific items to be removed from the consent calendar for separate action. Any item removed from the consent calendar will be considered after the regular business items. Are there any items on the consent calendar that any member of the public would like to comment on? Seeing none, those items are item number 11, which is the minutes from the June 18th, 2024 regularly scheduled meeting. Item number 12 is the payment of bills, some $450,000 worth. Item 13 is the monthly report for Kern County Fire Station number 21 for June of 2024. Recommendation is to receive and file the monthly report for June of 2024 from Kern County Fire Station number 21 and find that the activity is not a project per the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, as set forth in section 15060C3 and section 15378 of the CEQA guidelines. Lastly, item number 14 is a ratification of agreement with Westside Healthcare District for healthcare services at the Taft Community Correctional Facility. The recommendation is a motion to ratify the agreement with memorandum of agreement for the healthcare services for Taft Community Correctional Facility and find that the activity is not a project per the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, as set forth in section 15060C3 and section 15378 of the CEQA guidelines. Does any member of the council wish to remove any of these items from the consent calendar? None here. Seeing none at this time, I would entertain a motion to approve consent calendar items 11 through 14. So moved. Motion. Second. Yes, second. Motion. There. And the second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Madam Clerk, may we have a roll call, please? Mayor Pro Tem Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Waldrop? Yes. Council Member Chavera? Yes. And Mayor Knorr? Yes, and that's approved on a 5 0 vote. Thank you all very much. That brings us to the end of the open session of this evening's meeting. This council will be going into closed section for three items. Item A is conference with Labor Negotiator Craig Jones, City Manager, Government Code Section 54957.6, all units. Item B will be the annual performance evaluation for the city attorney, government code section 54957. Lastly, item C will be the annual performance evaluation of the city manager, government code section 54957. I want to thank you all for being a part of this evening's meeting. Hope you enjoyed the 4th of July. God bless America. Good evening now.